Hello everyone. Today we're going to see how to migrate website to cPanel manually. Before we start, there is an essential step you need to complete. Make sure to take a backup of your website from your previous registrar. This is crucial for ensuring all your data is safe. Once you have saved the backup to your local storage, you are ready to move forward. Next, log in to your cPanel account. Continue with the rest of the process. Log in to the cPanel and you can see this interface. So in this interface, you want to click on file manager where you will manage all your files in cPanel. Click on it. Go to public underscore HTML. That is the main folder. Here you have to upload your previous backups. Click on upload in the top and select your backup and click on open. So now you can see it's uploaded. Go back to the file manager, reload and now you can see the backup file. Select the backup file. It is zip content. So we have to extract it. So once you give extract files, it will extract the zip file into all the files. Once they extracted the zip file, navigate to the main page. So in the main cPanel interface, you have to search database wizard. So here you have to enter the database name first. In the second step, you have to enter the username and its password. So copy this for the future reference. So we have to add it. In the third step, you have to give privilege, user privilege for the particular database. Select on all privileges and make changes. So that is the final step. So in the next step, it is done. Again, so go back to the phpMyAdmin and select the database. And now we have to import the database file. So click on import in the top. So as highlighted, choose file, choose the file which you have downloaded from the previous hosting and import it here. Click on import. That's it. So you could see like the database is imported now. So once it is imported, now we have to configure the WordPress file with the database. So go to the public underscore HTML WP config file and click on edit. So here you have to update the database name, database username and database password. So that's it. It's done.